when they saw him came down and went back up this sneak up back through the back door and two guys, one with gun, one with knife. They asked for money and they and they put three of them in the front room. Um they were asking for this money, Mr. Carlos said, All right, please, I'm gonna give you guys but I don't know where's the key, you know. He was frightened. Um and he pulled down a check to a wrench open the, the little wooden thing that he has the money in and they thought he was gonna use it so they hit him in the head four times with the gun. Um he managed to wrench open the the the, the, the drawer and give them the money. He gave them two thousand dollars and some small change and he told them that's all he have. One of the guy looked at him and said that's not enough. The horrendous ordeal of a home invasion on a group of Honduran nationals on Saturday morning is still very much real in the minds of their loved ones. After two assailants opened fire on the group, 52-year-old Carlos Mayorga died instantly when he was hit once to the back of the neck. But Karina Avila, Alida Asensio, and Sihan Avila were rushed to the Carl Hushta Memorial Hospital where they were treated Asensio is still in critical condition. Asensio, the mother of an eight-year-old girl, is fighting for her life after she was hit to the abdomen and chest. Her sister says they fear the worst. She is really bad. She is dying. The doctors are saying that she bled a lot and there is no hope that she will survive. There is so much violence here and my sister came here for a better life and I don't know what happened. Miss Alida, she started to fret and she run, when she run to the next room and lock up herself in there, the guy, one guy run in there and shove open the door because the door don't have no lock, right? So she just shook her off and then he encountered somebody else in the room, which is Karina. Um, he tell them to march in the room, to go in there with the others. Um, and while they were in there, um, they hit Alida in the head and they hit Karina in the head also. Alida get frightened and she jump up and she got hit on her stomach. She, um, the bullet damaged her kidney, her liver, her pancreas and her intestine. I believe they said that she lose her, one of her kidneys. She's critical. Uh, she, she only has a sister here. She has no other relative. She, and she has an eight year old daughter in Guatemala City, right? Um, then the other person that got shot was Sehan. She got above her chest, above above her chest. The bullet passed above her heart, come out to the side, broke through all her ribs, and then the other bullet hit her arm, right? A family friend who is also from Honduras recounted the series of events saying that Karina's condition is deteriorating and that she's not breathing on her own. Karina, she was the one who got the minor minor one you know the bullet hit her arm the bullet lodged in her chest um the doctor said it didn't touch anything serious but they couldn't take out the bullet right um the impact made blood went into her lungs and she's breathing with a machine um last night when i called to check on how the autopsy went and thing um they told me how karina it's a little it's getting a little bit worse right now so she say han is the one who's stable right now so we're hoping that they all get released you know because we don't want any more to die enough with one you know for friends and families the tragedy is also heartbreaking because the victims migrated to belize for a safer and better life instead their lives are threatened in a country where they have worked hard to earn a living it's, it's sad because Mr. Carlos is a man with a big heart, quiet, but at the same time very kind. He's a man with a big heart, and they don't steal from no one. They work hard for what they have. I, I believe they're cheating out of his life, you know. It's, it's really sad to know that these guys out there have no heart, have no love. They don't sit and think that they have mom, they have dad, they have sisters, they have kids, you know. They don't sit and think. They come and chance of people. You know, get a job, try to get a job. Look how many jobs are out there. They want to find the easy money, easy money and taking people life away. You know, $2,000 wasn't worth for Mr. Carlos life. Everybody in the neighborhood now is fretting. We want justice. Why are there laws when there is no justice? We don't want any more violence. These youths today, 
please work so you can eat. If you want to steal the money, steal the money, but don't take life. We are very afraid now. Dwayne Moody for News 5.